Over the last few years, crude oil prices have dropped from over $100 a barrel to less than 40 and during the same time period, prices of both gasoline and heating oil have almost halved. Facing such drastic changes in both input and output prices, oil refiners are presented with challenging risk management decisions. A typical oil refiner's profit margin is tied directly to the price difference between crude oil and refined products. This is commonly called the crack spread. The most popular crack spread, which approximates the real-world output ratio of refining process, adopts a 3 to 1 ratio. Namely, three barrels of crude oil can be cracked into two barrels of gasoline and one barrel of heating oil. Oil refineries can reduce their risk exposure to volatile market prices by hedging the crack spread in the futures market. In 1994, NYMEX launched the crack spread contract, um, which bundles the purchase of three crude oil futures contracts into the sale of two unleaded gasoline futures and one heating oil futures contract, with delivery much later. This makes them into a single trade, thus lowering margin costs. A 3 to one crack spread future position can also be created synthetically uh, by directly trading futures on the crude oil, gasoline and heating oil at a fixed 3 to one ratio. Even though the crack spread futures has low trading volume, data shows that trading volume in synthetic 3 to one crack spread is pretty high. However, given the somewhat erratic behaviour of spot prices in recent years, the question arises whether hedging individual commodities at the ratio other than 3 to one might be more effective. Commodity processing activities always involve multiple commodities and thus exposure to risk on both the input and output side. The literature on hedging has traditionally been focused on single commodity hedging, which does not take into account the price co-movements between the input and output commodities. The crack spread hedging problem for oil refineries has attracted interest in recent years, partly due to the highly volatile oil market. And various multivariate modelling methods as well as risk measures have been used to determine the optimal hedging strategies and to analyse their performance. It has been shown that accounting for time variation in relationship between energy price series, crude oil, gasoline, heating oil, etc., yields substantial rewards to hedges in terms of risk reduction. Writing recently in Energy Economics, Liuao, Vendenov and Power reported on the effectiveness of crack spread hedging strategies during periods of high volatility and changing patterns in the price of crude oil and petroleum. The key finding of their paper was that allowing deviations from the fixed 3 to 1 ratio improves hedging performance regardless of the criterion used. Furthermore, it appears that the key factor affecting hedging effectiveness is the dependent structure between the spot and futures returns. From a practical standpoint, these results suggest that refineries can achieve a better risk reduction performance by hedging individual commodities than by hedging the crack spread in a fixed 3 to 1 proportion. The advantage of hedging commodities individually becomes particularly important during periods characterised by greater variation in the cross-dependence between the log returns of individual commodities. Finally, using LPM2 as a hedging criterion, they revealed, may not only help hedgers to better track downside risk, but also appears to lead to higher expected profit and lower expected shortfall.